Johnny from Nashville asks, have you ordered a Cooper Rush jersey yet? Aha. Uh -huh. And Noah, let's take another question. Noah from Chicago asked, would you rather have Cooper Rush or Aaron Rodgers as your starting quarterback? Aha. Uh -huh. I love these questions. The more sarcastic, the merrier for me right now, because as I posted on social right after Monday night's game, the Cowboy victory up against the Giants, I posted, Everybody is sleeping on Cooper Rush. And I love it. As you probably know, I first guessed Cooper Rush after Dak stunk on opening night against Tampa Bay. And then he got hurt. And it seemed like everybody in the world but me said, that's it, the Cowboys are done. Dance on their grave. I said, this Rush to judgment is hilariously wrong because Cooper Rush can play. That's all I know. Cooper Rush can play. I can't sell his arm. I can't sell his mobility over Dak or certainly over Aaron Rodgers as the greatest arm talent ever. Uh, all I know is what I've seen not once or twice, but three times from Cooper Rush. Not once or twice, but three full games of Cooper Rush. I have seen him play three better games than Dak has played since opening night a whole year ago when he went down to Tampa after zero preseason, coming off the career-threatening ankle surgery. And he went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, throw for throw with Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. at Tampa. The GOAT finally goaded him 31 to 29, but I thought that was the greatest game Dak ever played. 403 yards passing, albeit in defeat. And that was that. Since then, I haven't seen anything remotely like that from Rain Dakota Prescott. Not remotely like that. And down the stretch last year, as you well know, he often stunk. Three times I've seen Cooper Rush play wire-to-wire -wire games with clutch finishes that eclipse anything Dak has done since that opening Thursday night game that kicked off last season, not this season. He stunk against Brady to start this season off on the opening Sunday night. Three games from Cooper Rush. One on a Sunday night solo stage at Minnesota. One at home against the team that almost won the Super Bowl. And then, of course, one this past Monday night on the Monday night solo stage against the new look Red Hot Giants that many people thought would expose Cooper Rush thanks to their new coordinator, Wink Martindale, who would blitz him into oblivion. Did not happen. Cooper Rush did not have Dalton Schultz. He did not have Michael Gallup. Obviously, he didn't have the Amari Cooper. He threw the clutch touchdown pass to at Minnesota last year with 55 seconds left to pull out that game 20-16. to 16. All he did it up against the Giants in New Jersey was watch Saquon rock the house Escape for 36 yards as the Giants roared back to take a 13 to 6 lead, and I, I seriously thought all was lost. It felt like a typical cowboy disaster. There was a horrendous uncalled pass interference in the end zone that cost them four points because they had to take a field goal, and then CeeDee Lamb had dropped what looked like it was maybe a touchdown pass at least down inside the five. Cost them seven more points. Looked like a disaster. And Cooper Rush said, I got this. Two straight drives. He goes 12 of 13 on those combined drives for 129 yards and just two drives. 
and all of a sudden Dallas was back on top, 20 to 13. And that was that. Flash in the pan? No. No. Real deal. Cooper Rush. I can't quite explain it. And yet, I'm sure you're saying to me right now, what a fool you are. I know, I know, I know. I, I got it that history is warning me, screaming at me. Cooper Rush, undrafted out of Central Michigan, will get exposed with the red rocket, as I call him, thanks to his red hair, will soon turn into a pumpkin. Who knows? Maybe it'll be Monday night. Maybe my team will fall on its face masks against rival Washington. They're only a three and a half point favorite as I speak this. But I don't see it. I, I, I just know what I have seen from Cooper Rush, and I don't think he will be the reason they lose if they in fact lose. I'm convinced that Cooper Rush can play. I'm convinced that in three games, he's shown to be more clutch than I've ever seen Aaron Rodgers be clutch. Have you watched Aaron Rodgers postseason? I know Cooper Rush hasn't played a postseason game yet, but I just got a feeling that he would come up more clutch than Aaron has. Remember against Brady, NFC Championship game, number one seed, home field throughout. First ever NFC Championship game for Aaron at Lambeau. Gag City. Remember last year, San Francisco at Lambeau, number one seed, Gag City down the stretch. I don't think Cooper Rush would do that. I can't quite explain him, except to tell you he just knows how to play the position. He just operates my offense more smoothly, more efficiently, more effectively than I've seen Dak operated over the last year. That's all I know for a fact. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.